Hey, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 1996 cult classic film, The Birdcage. This is based off of the play La Caja a Faux. Uh, this stars Robin Williams, Nathan Lane, Gene Hackman, Diane Reist, Dan Futterman, Callista Flockhart, Hank Azaria, Christine Baranski, Tom McCallum, Grant Haslow. Um, this is hysterical. This is a cult classic film. This was a very important film in the early 90s. Well, technically mid 90s. And then it is translated to a stage, another stage production. And then um, just, it's just so iconic within the gay community, but with also within uh, comedy. Like Nathan Lane and Robin Williams playing husbands, essentially, unwed husbands, in this film is is absolutely perfect. Christine Baranski and Diane Weiss just throw in their acting skills into the mix absolutely perfect Hank Azaria just playing another character of his craziness in the 90s absolutely epic I know he's said numerous times that he does regret reg he's a white guy playing you know a Guatemalan guy in this film and he is the voice of Apu in Simpsons playing an Indian guy right so like he has since stated you know apologies of portraying certain cultures certain ways in the stereotypes but this was back in the day. Simpsons started in the 80s. Birdcage was the 90s. Like, the, the cultural appropriation, the um, the uh, political correctedness that we have today was not in existence back then. So, like, it's a good thing we have it now, but, like, you can't change the past. So, like, here we are in the present. Let's go to the future. Okay. So, this story is about... Um, how do you talk about this? Armand Goldman owns the birdcage which is a drag queen nightclub in south beach florida he has a son val with christine baranski's character Catherine, um way back in the day when he was experimenting with girls and so he gave her money basically he got val the son in return um val was raised by two parents um nathan lane's character of albert and uh robin williams character of armand raised by them and various maids slash houseboys along the way but he's a fine, upstanding gentleman at the age of 20 who's marrying an 18-year-old. So the goal is to have Barbara, the fiancé's parents, meet Val's parents. But the kicker is Val's parents are white nationalist, homophobic, racist. Uh, her father, Senator Keeley, is a Republican up for re-election, already caught in a scandal, and it doesn't need to be caught in yet another scandal with a gay couple, you know, in South Beach, Florida, at a drag club. So they put on this ruse to try to convince the senator and his wife that uh, Val is from an upstanding home. So they try to get Catherine to in on it, you know, pretend to be Val's mom, even though she technically is biologically speaking, but didn't raise her. Him, Albert raised him. And then, uh, you know, all hell doesn't break loose when Albert puts on the drag makeup to become Val's mom. And then Catherine shows up late claiming to be Val's mom. So then all things collide, and then there's a massive drag dance number to have everybody escape at the end. Beautiful. Two hours long. Musical film. So this film stands the test of time just based on the comedy front. It is so perfect with one-liners. Robin Williams, a comedic genius, uh, still to this day. May he rest in peace. And Nathan Lane just, just constantly upping his game when it comes to comedic timing. And Hank Azari just... The three of them worked so well together, so well together. It was it was so incredible. I, I just I laughed my ass off still twenty years later watching this film. And I, I remember a friend of mine showed this to me first back in the day. And I've ne I, I haven't laughed my I haven't not laughed while watching this since then. However, tw twenty something years later, I still laugh because it's still such a perfect, iconic family-oriented film that as long as you're surrounded by love that's all that a family is family is supposed to show you love and support and to make sure that you're safe happy and healthy and that's what really matters so it's a great it's a great film it's a great achievement within film and i know there's not going to be a sequel but there could always be a sequel wink wink nudge nudge birdcage go watch it you will laugh your eyes off i guarantee it <laughs> mahalo